You know, after the father gives you a harvest, it's your job to remain faithful to him because you'll be tempted to um, pay so much attention to those harvests and you'll enjoy them to such a degree that it could take away time from the Lord. So what is really humility when it comes to the blessing of the Lord making you rich? Humility is that your regiment doesn't change. Humility is that your pursuit of the Father in prayer doesn't change. Humility means that you are constantly taking every act of kindness into consideration strongly. And you're giving thanks concerning it. You know, people get treated good in life and they forget that they wasn't always being treated good. So their thankfulness becomes low. They casualize deeds as if it's the norm. But you don't know that as a blessing if you are in a vehicle and you get from one place to the next. Or you go to a location and you don't get robbed. Or you go to a grocery store and you don't get shot. Or you walk to your mailbox and nobody rapes you. Or you're able to eat a warm meal that you like. You take things for granted when water goes down your throat. When there's people hooked up to a tube. You take it for granted when you use the bathroom. You don't even tell the Lord thank you. That you could urinate. Because there's people with tubes in their belly. They're, they're using the bathroom with a bag in their belly there's so much things that people they rob god of the praise that he deserves i also want to talk to you about keys to keep in favor keep in favor is very simplified if you want to keep favor always smell nice don't be musty i tell you all in your city just because it's cold and you're wearing a jacket don't have on a nasty smelling jacket. Wash your jacket. Pit on deodorant and understand deodorant don't last forever. It dies off after a certain time. When you come home from work, take a shower. Refresh yourself. Wash your behind. Wash your private parts. Wash your arms. Wear deodorant. Be conscious of your smell. Don't smell bad. You'll lose favor. Number two, don't have a bad attitude. Remember, everything that's being spoken to you when you're favored is things that you need to know. So don't be impatient with divine knowledge. Don't be impatient with divine wisdom. Don't be impatient with the grace to understand things. Give yourself room and space to comprehend what you're hearing. Don't be anxious and don't be upset when God chooses to tell you the truth. You want to be a fool all your life and believe something that's wrong or you want the truth. I don't know about you, but at the end of the day, what is arrogancy? Arrogancy is the robbery of the right information. You ever thought about that? Arrogancy is robbery of the right information, the right way to do a thing. Arrogance robs you of your comfort from God. Because how could God comfort you if you're combative? Arrogancy is the... Arrogance, being arrogant, is the thief. Being arrogant is the thief. Of you giving God his expectation. So when you're arrogant, you don't give him what he wants. And then arrogance blocks even the inspiration, the excitement, the energy that you're supposed to have to learn 
how to do something correctly. Arrogant people, they are fighting for their foolishness. Arrogant people, they battle for their bad behavior. Think about that. They, they are advocates for their iniquity. So if you want to live powerful, open up yourself to the divine wisdom of God. Let him tell you how he wants to do it and let him check you. If you want to keep favor, don't smell bad. Don't have a bad attitude. Don't imitate bad people. Don't have bad examples. Don't dwell on bad news because bad news will destroy your character, your attitude, and then you'll end up losing favor for having a bad attitude. So don't study bad news. Don't smell bad. Don't have a bad attitude. Don't study bad news. Don't connect and desire bad people. Don't speak bad words. A bad word is a word that God didn't schedule. He didn't want your mouth to utter it. It's not a divine utterance from God. Pray in the spirit and meditate what to say at the right moment. Confidentiality. Don't speak about what other people are not supposed to know. Find out what you're supposed to say. Don't you get, don't you hate when you tell somebody something and then they go speak it out and then they be like, oh, oh, I said, I said, shut up. I ain't never saying nothing to you again. Just remember that. You ever meet people like that? You tell them, um, you know, I'm going to Hawaii next week. And then you talking with somebody. Oh, yeah. Ain't you going to Hawaii next week? Just think about that. 